Travis Kelsey was an absolute dominant force against the Jacksonville Jaguars. What made him so good? How is he able to consistently seemingly get wide open? Why is no one cover him? Well, there's actually some very smart things that the Chiefs do to make that happen. But the first is something like this. There's none better maybe in football history than finding the soft spots in zone coverage than Travis Kelsey. That's what he's going to do on this very play. You see, uh, it's a cover three zone blitz. So five-man rush, meaning gaps will already be a little bit wider. But you see Kelsey's route. Okay, Go over the middle, try to find a gap in coverage, right? When this play begins, what's going to be interesting is that, you know, you have a Jacksonville linebacker who's going to start off covering him, but here's where things get fascinating. So he's going to pass Kelsey off towards kind of the middle area of the field because he has help there, right? You can't just stay on Kelsey the whole time. You're not playing man coverage. You, you know, if you have help in a certain area, you let him go there. The issue is that the linebacker who is a little bit further towards the middle of the field has stepped in a little bit because Mahomes is moving around a little bit and you have to be aware of the potential uh, Mahomes rushing ability. So because of this, this now means that, you know, uh, there is a window further up towards the middle of the field for Kelsey to get open. You know who notices this? Travis Kelsey, because Travis Kelsey always notices this stuff. Watch him just sit right in that gap in coverage. He's able to make the play. Again, this is kind of, you know, I feel like you could say this about basically every Travis Kelsey play, but it is like, you know, make sure someone's on him and make sure that you just, you know, uh, maybe you play uh, zone coverage, but you also have someone just cover Travis Kelsey the whole time as well, because like he always seemingly gets open in these spots. He always finds a way to make it happen. And again, having Mahomes who can kind of uh, widen those gaps in coverage obviously helps. But you know, again, Kelsey's proven he doesn't need it. He can be effective with several different quarterbacks, but obviously uh, helps when you get Mahomes. This is another play where every time I see it, I just think like, guys, don't fall for this. Stop it. <laughs> Stop doing this. Don't let yourself get fooled by this kind of thing. Travis Kelsey is going to be blocking on this play. So, okay, he's blocking. Don't worry about him, right? No, obviously, if he's blocking, you still have to be aware of the receiving threat. Watch as he starts off blocking. But you see right here, so the defensive lineman he was blocking on this play, Trayvon Walker, now goes out and actually is doing the right thing. He's making sure he covers McKinnon, uh, who, you know, would be wide open for a touchdown if Walker does not get in that area. So, you know, good stuff from Walker here. But you see that for uh, Kelsey, the issue is if you're a linebacker in the spot and you see Kelsey starting off blocking, keep an eye on him. Don't let him just get wide open because he will score a touchdown if he gets the football in the red zone. Watch as Mahomes says, oh, Kelsey's wide open. Let me flip it to him. And you see Kelsey just do great work in open space. Again, another example of Mahomes' mobility making it a little easier as it gets players a little bit out of position. But when you think about, well, how does Kelsey get wide open? Why do guys make this mistake consistently? It's because the rules are different for him. The reality is, in a typical situation, if you see a tight end doing this and they end up getting the catch, you make a tackle and they only gain a couple of yards. It's just... When it's 87 for Kansas City, you just you have to play him differently. The, the, he breaks the rules. Even in smaller areas, like something like this, where it's going to be, you know, again, they scheme stuff open for Kelsey. They, Andy Reid is very smart, and Andy Reid says, I'm going to do what I can to get my best player to football as frequently as possible. Well, as in best player other than Mahomes, of course, who obviously, you know, uh, Andy Reid makes sure he gets that player to ball a lot as well. But what's happening here is it's a very simple concept where you have two tight ends. One runs a bit of a for a deeper route, kind of a clear out route as Kelsey runs underneath. You see as Mahomes takes the snap, you're going to see Kelsey get open underneath. This isn't anything fancy and this one isn't even going to go for that many yards. Watch as Mahomes makes the quick throw and you know, you're able to get 6 or 7 on that play. Still a good play. It's definitely something that's valuable on a first down being able to, you know, make it a second down and manageable, which, you know, then completely opens up the playbook on second down. All of that stuff obviously very much helps, but kind of the main point is that it's the strategy behind it, right? Of if we get Kelsey the ball enough times underneath, he's going to break some for big plays. That's just what Kelsey does. Even if he doesn't, we're still getting seven yards on this play and still making it easy for us to continue to run our offense this way. Regardless of what you're doing, if you're playing zone coverage, Travis Kelsey is beating you. And the reality is if you don't and you do stuff like this in the goal line situation, he can beat you as well. Again, it's another schemed up play where the concept behind it is relatively simple. But what I love about this kind of thing is that, again, you don't see a lot of teams do this. You have to have a good receiving tight end to pull this kind of thing off. 
They're running a uh, sort of, uh, it's it's a pick play right here. Marquez Valdez Scantling is going to uh, throw to pick as Kelsey runs underneath and tries to get open. And it's a smart play as, again, Typically, what do you want to do? You don't want to have a receiver blocking for a tight end. You want to have the tight end blocking for a receiver. But the reality is, if we're being honest, who's the better receiving option, Marquez Valdez-Scantling or Travis Kelsey? It's probably Travis Kelsey. So in this scenario, having Travis Kelsey be the guy makes a lot of sense. Watch as Chad Henney on this play takes the snap. And you see right here, this play is working. Really good job by MVS on this play as well of making sure he does not uh, go too far down the field as to where the contact would be illegal. Make sure he stays within one yard of the line of scrimmage where he can do this stuff. But again, for Kelsey, it's just the explosiveness, right? Being able to get to this spot quickly, but also being able to then make the catch, turn the corner and get into the end zone. He makes it look easy. Trust me, it is not. Uh, there are difficulties you have to go, you know, deal with in that situation. But again, does definitely go to show, uh, you know, it's not just him winning. It's also they find ways for him to, you know, to scheme him up to make this stuff happen. But also going over here, he can also just win, right? I mean, something like this where it's going to, you know, I, I have it as though he's blocking. I didn't know exactly what graphic to show here because basically what uh, it's art and key for Jacksonville, what he's going to try and do here is they're basically just saying, let's just have a defensive lineman run into him. Let's just try and, you know, make that be our philosophy and how we're going to take Travis Kelsey out of the play. And watch how for a minute it starts to work. I mean, Kelsey is not able to get a clean, uh, you know, clean separation or anything. I actually think I would like this idea a little bit more if a team did this and then doubled him, you know, get a linebacker on him or something like that. You're going to basically have to have a lot of time in that spot to hit Kelsey. And I do think Kelsey, you should view uh, as the one number one option. I think you view him ha how like when you play Cincinnati, you view Jamar Chase. I know that might sound crazy when we're talking about a tight end, but let's be honest, it doesn't sound crazy. I think we all kind of agree. Like, yeah, no, he's the number one option. It's in a different way than a Jamar Chase, but it's still he's the number one option. So, okay, they're creating contact here. But what's the concern. Well, the concern is Kelsey is still very strong and very physical. Watch him use that to basically throw Key off. And now, I mean, uh, you know, he definitely has the speed. He makes the catch and it ends up picking up an explosive play on that one, gets 17 yards. So his ability to do that basically means that, again, I don't know how you cover this guy because all the kind of the one thing we didn't talk about was man coverage, but okay, yeah, fine, man coverage. Who do you have that's going to cover Travis Kelsey one-on-one? -on -one? I don't know. Uh, probably uh, nobody. Uh, you know, Levante David did a pretty good job in the Super Bowl. Other than that, I, I've never seen him get shut down one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, as a whole, it's just he's a guy who can win in any situation. That's really what makes him so remarkable and why, again, he was a big part of why they were able to beat Jacksonville in this game. I don't know if they win this game if it's not for Kelsey, and I guarantee you they don't win against Cincinnati if not for Kelsey. I actually think that kind of with Mahomes' injury and how he's banged up, I think that they would need Kelsey more than ever at this point because of the fact that Mahomes isn't going to be able to move around as much. You're going to have to have probably more quick passes, and that is where Kelsey can thrive. And I think that that's probably the main way they will use Travis Kelsey is kind of, you know, again, the main way to use him now of kind of the short stuff, this over the middle stuff but that he can turn into bigger plays again. Someone who we all know Travis Kelsey is awesome. We all know what Travis Kelsey can do, but still, still want to make videos talking about him because it, it never gets old, let's be honest. At least that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Travis Kelsey and his performance against the Jacksonville Jaguars? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.